Hello. Today I have something for you that's just a little festive. And it's an idea I kind of had after the dragon video, whereby I had a dragon being teleported around so you could control him, basically. And yeah, since I thought Christmas was coming up, I thought I'd try and make a full-on sleigh that you can control with uh, Rudolph at the front. I wanted it so that it didn't move into the floor, because the previous one I was using teleporting command. I thought, there's a better way of going about doing this, so I thought I'd do that with this. As you can see, I can kind of just move, move my mouse around and the reindeers will go where I want them to go. And it's fairly easy to control. As you can see, I've added in snow particles to kind of <laughs> add to the effect slightly. And uh, I have also added in um, presents, as you can see, in my 0, 1, 2, and 3 slots on my hotbar. And if I throw them out of my inventory, they will turn it into presents and then continue falling and land on the ground. Here are the models that I created for the presents. Um, there's four of them in total, um, made, off, made off of two different models, uh, which are the same model, just repeated for different textures. And here is the sleigh model that I made with little presents on the front. Um, it's a tiny little block in the actual block form, um, but when you put it on your head, I've made it scale up uh, by about two or three times. If you go into your inventory, you can kind of see <laughs> what it will look like on your own head put it on your own head. Now down to the actual fun part. Um, command blocks. Lots and lots of command blocks. I'm not going to explain what all of these do, but uh, basically this layer, this layer, this layer, and a fair chunk of this layer are all really the same thing. They're just entity data commands. Uh, I'll show you one. So we're executing to a player with these rotation arguments. So anyone within those rotation arguments. Um, I'm then going to execute to the entity horse, which is the horse you would be riding normally within the sleigh. So basically it's just testing whether you're within a radius of one of that entity. Um, and then I'm then going to do an entity data command where I'm ent editing Rudolph's motion values. So I'm basically giving Rudolph motion dependent on where you are looking. So that's what the majority of them are. Um, I've then got some here which are teleporting and I will explain that in a sec but essentially what I'm doing is I'm spawning in a an armor stand to Rudolph and I'm then adding the score of those armor stands up by one um, and I'm then teleporting all of the entities all of the horses forward by one so that repeats 20 times a second and yeah, basically makes a fairly smooth animation. Anyway, I think that's about it. Uh, Merry Christmas and thanks for watching. Goodbye.